have spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. A chariot, a, a so-called UFO, received him. Yeah, how else would a cloud receive him? Uh-huh. And you know that uh, basically that the chariots they use the clouds as a cloak. Yep. So basically he was getting took up into that chariot. That's and like uh and I and I, I gotta use this analogy. I know it might sound funny, but I'm serious when I say it. The movie Chicken Little. If y'all remember, he had he said it's a UFO, it's aliens, it's aliens. But it was an actual, it was a chariot, but it, is, it colored itself, it disguised itself as a cloud. So when they seen it, they thought Little Chicken Little was tripping until the, the end of the movie. And they're like, oh, they really ain't tripping, it really was a chariot. And of course, they got little bullshit aliens, but that's a spiritual movie. If you get the chance to watch it, uh, fucking Chicken Little, it showed that chariots, the UFOs, disguised themselves as the sky. And colored themselves according to their surroundings so you can't see them, you know? And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Uh -huh. This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. And the brother just read the account. My son shall be declared whom thou sawest ascended. Ooh. So he coming back in his great blazing glory, you know, and every eye shall see him, as it said in Revelation uh, uh, 1 and 7. Keep going on that second edge, squad. Uh, you down on 33. Verse 33. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle. They have one against another. Keep going. And an innumerable number of multitudes shall be gathered together. And thou sawest them willing to come. And to overcome him by fighting. So they're gonna be willing to come. They're gonna but they're gonna be afraid. Yeah, there's fight. So they're gonna be willing to come together. They they're gonna stop fighting against each other. Look, man, we both Egyptians, uh let's say Edomites per per se. Well look, Russia and America and, 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 um, Independence Day. Uh -huh. And they showed you that like all uh, the United States and then like all uh, like uh, like Iraq like all uh, started like all uh, like they were just basically saying that all uh, like Independence Day is gonna be like an international holiday from now on. Yeah, the president's making yeah. a speech. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they, like the uh, apostles, I was heard them break it out one time. He said, hey, they, these uh, these soldiers and stuff, once they see what the fuck really going to be going on. Um, so, so get like Psalms like 83 because they're all in a uh, confederacy against like uh, the Lord's chosen people anyway. Right. But yeah, once they see what's going on, they're going to be scared. They're not even going to want to fight, but the Lord going to put the spirit on them and make them fight. Sure. So it's gonna be like everybody fighting against one another. They gonna all stop. Like, look, it's us against them, you know. And that's when they gonna get fucked up. Keep that on hold. I, I, I grab this. This is Psalms 82, starting at verse two. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their heads. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and come. Let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more remembered. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against them. And I looked that word up. It means a league. A confederate is a league. So the same way you got NATO and the EU, they all become one, a league of people together to come up against Israel to cut them off from being a nation. You're right. And like you were saying, uh, Somebody referenced the last time, like in the United Nations, we don't have all these other nations have somebody to represent them. We don't have anybody to represent us. Who mm -hmm. no, the Israelites. Israelites, right. Uh, was that it? Was that song that, that, that you wanted? We look low. Oh yeah, the six, the six chapter, the six verse. Yeah. Hey, you know who's gonna represent us, man. Yeah, how was shot, man? The tabernacles of Edom. Right, that's a, yeah. If you don't know already, that's it's like so-called white people. Are you know Americans, Europeans? All right, whose lineage goes back to Esau? And the Ishmaelites. All right, Arabs. All right. So um, that just shows you that, um, like, even though they're fighting, uh, fighting against each other, like right now, uh, when it comes to like, um, are you know, like those chariots returning? Or right, to um, like the Lord's like chosen people, all right? They're gonna be uh, like coming against us, like uh, like even like uh, even more, all right? Because like right now they just want to have us, uh, you know, just like in subjection, like and shit like that. 
or you know, as far as like having us like uh, rely upon them and all that. All right, but um, you know, it's gonna get, it's gonna like es it's gonna get like escalated, like once they all like get back into that all like confederacy, right? because through the spirit, like that's how the Lord set it up anyway. It says of Moab, all right, Chinese, and right. Hagarines. All right, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, like the Hagarines. This might be like Hamites, I'm not 100% sure, but they're heathens. Right. It says, Jabal and Ammon and, Japanese. and Amalek, the Jews, the Philistines right. with the inhabitants of Tyre. Yeah, the Philistines are Hamites or who are related to the uh, Egyptians, like through Mizraim. All right, but all, you know, like every single, every single heathen nation, or you know, uh, you know, fuck it. They might as well like be on like uh, the same side because they're all against the Lord's chosen people. Uh, he said he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. Yeah, that's that's straight up. You know, so all them heathen nations, and we ain't got the sign, but it's a table of nations. Yeah, that's the Lord's. That's just like you call that scripture like the Lord's little shit list, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and what is his? Uh, can you grab that in uh, Zephaniah three and eight? I believe it is. Uh, his determination and what he planned to do with those nations, uh, you know, as a brother bringing an account out, how he gonna do it? This is what he's determined to do. And uh, right. when you done, switch your speakers after this too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's, what I, that's what I want. To after you make this statement, and uh, let me see. We gonna try to get three speakers to count yeah. at least three. Then don't go uh, thirty seconds. You on thirty five, thirty four? No, no, no. You're on uh, 30, you're on 35, end up 37, and, and after, after this, though. Oh, you know what? No, grab that now, and when he grabbed that. Uh, second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 35. But he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Zion. Behind the Israelites, he going to be with us. And say, as, as, our, as our leader. You got it? And say, I shall come, and shall be shown to all men, being prepared and building. Like as thou sawest the hill graven with thy hands. And, and this my son shall rebuke the wicked. And vengeance of those nations which for their wicked life are falling into the temples. Right. So hey, he gonna use the elect to uh, rebuke those wicked inventions of the nations, man. All their wicked imaginations and their uh, devices which they imagined against them. And I was just reading in the book of Psalm 2 chapter, uh, King David said uh, basically the same thing. Let them be taking in devices which they have imagined, man. Whatever they plan on doing to us. Like the brother just made a good statement about the chick at the work spot that no uh, weapon uh, formed against it shall prosper. Man. She had it. She had it. She worked in the military. She had it on her head. And one of y'all to switch up. This the Lord's determination. What he wants to do. This is Zephaniah three and eight. Therefore. Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. So it's not our lot like ISUPK to have a big ass gun up talking about I'm gonna take revenge now. He said, wait ye upon me. You got it? Until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. That's right. So his determination is to gather them to the valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, in the Middle Eastern area, and do away with them like you would do trash. You sweep it in a pile and get rid of them. All right? So I say all that to say this. Brothers need to repent and come back to your house by Shemiel Hold on. Uh, we gonna, uh, uh, keep, keep it on hold. Um, you know, come back to your house by Shemiel Shah and repent, you know. Because the day is at hand, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, all right? And we only speaking to the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Assembly Indians. Not, yeah, not yeah. everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we need another, another brother. Uh, I ain't with I just got the scripture. I got the scripture going. Bring it out and build up with it. I'm about to bring out the scripture and the wall the brother was just reading. This is Psalms, chapter 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright, so basically, and even though like the Council of Gamaliel, like you said that um, you know, if it's not on the Lord, it'll come to naught. 
All right, because um, all right, you have like all these carnal movements, or you know, like um, like anti Antifa, or, like Black Lives Matter. All right, um, like all these like other like Israelite groups. All right, they want um, right, they want the kingdom. They they want the kingdom now. All right, basically like um, it's like these fucking um, it's like like gated communities. All right, they want to establish like families and things like that. No, that that's another thing. Like not only um. Uh, like when it says like wait on the Lord, that's not only talking about you know like all uh, it's like vengeance and all that. Right, but that's also talking about all uh, or you know uh, just like trying to establish yourself, like trying to have like like the kingdom or some the same type of all uh, try to have the same type of uh, society or right, that we had in the ancient world. You know like that that you know on this side like you know that that's not gonna work. Right, because you know the Lord like he says that we're pretty much you know we're gonna be like uh, just like pilgrims and all that or you know all uh, right just taking it to go basically all right all uh, right you know as far as all uh, you know where we, where we live where we work all right all uh, but you know like even even like um it's like the women that we deal with you know it's not that expedient to like all uh, be like hey you need to all uh, you need to wear your dress you need to all uh, have natural hair and things like that all right it's just even the, you know how but when I was first coming in like uh, Apostle uh, Rakal had like this analogy you know that uh, the woman's like just a snack it's just some like milk and cookies alright and uh, just like just like other things like you know uh, you know that either uh, and it's usually like um, just like our people where they have like two different uh, there's two different like schools of thought either uh, there's like the armed revolution or they want to uh, infiltrate the system Right, both of those things are not on the on the Lord's agenda. That's uh, down here. Right. Uh, so uh, this is fine though. At the, at the end of the day, we still Israelites in captivity. We still uh, subject to these curses. To how about show me how it's trying to return? So at the end of the day, you can try and do all that, but you're still under curses. You say you, you should uh, broke at noon that you should have no insurance for your life. So basically, you're trying to start a community and everything and do all that. But at the end of the day, yo. Basket never gonna prosper. You gonna be cursed coming in, and when you go out, at the end of the day. Yeah, the, yeah and even all uh, as far as like that, like all uh, uh, that. This shit's the best thing you're gonna have to like uh, look forward to if you make it that far. All right, because even all uh, like those are people you know that make it. Or you know all uh, like people like uh, Bill Cosby for one example. Or you know all uh, it's like pretty much like what he was doing like uh, like if he was doing that like in like the age of the kingdom or whatever. and everything like all uh, pretty much like the only thing like all uh, like they had to, as long as they followed the uh, law statutes commandments of the heavenly father all right they would be um like untouchable basically are you you know but in this uh kingdom like you have to be all uh, you have to be wicked in order to uh, prosper hey too just to say something like bill cosby just show you he even all that that cooning that he was doing for esau he ain't no better than the average crack right here because average so-called Edomite, I mean, not so-called, but average Edomite out here, they was doing shit like that, and they, they weren't getting locked up, man. You know? So, yeah, but you got to go This is Romans chapter 13, verse 2. No, stop. Oh, one. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of your house. The powers that be are ordained of your house. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of your house. And they that resist shall receive themselves damnation. Or even all, um, like when all, um, the one time when all, um, like Peter, like he all, um, he like chopped off the ear of that one guy. Like all, um, yeah, I always like expound. I don't, I don't think he was uh, necessarily like aiming for, the, I think he was aiming for something else with this. All right, but all, um, or, you know, then like Yahweh Shai said, like if you live like by the sword, you're gonna die by the sword. All right, so uh, yeah, we pretty much we have to like wait on the Lord and all that. Uh, we're all um, like by law, we're we're allowed to like prophesy and all that. Or you know, um, like that's why um, like that so-called like freedom of speech like was allowed. All right, because um, like freedom of speech, you know, is also um, it's just like uh, freedom of confusion, basically. Like, uh, the truth will be like, uh, 
truth will be like hidden in there. All right, so that's that's just another stumbling block. All right, but all just like back on the subject and all that. All right, that goes back into all, all right, just like waiting on the Lord and all that. 